68 two lever connector to the LED flex neon. You start off by separating the board from the edge of the PVC material slightly with a screwdriver. Um, you can pull the material away with your fingernail a little bit, get behind the board and just create a little space for the fins of the uh, connector to slide in behind the board. Once you have that, hold the two fins back, make sure that the silicone gasket's already been in place. Usually it's uh, put on at the factory. Then s begin to slide it on and you can manipulate the fins slightly to make sure they go behind the board using a screwdriver if they're not lining up perfectly. And once they've lined up behind the board, then you can continue to slide in until it bottoms out. Then close the two levers. It's a, it's a little hard because it's pushing the material harder into the silicone to create a very waterproof seal. Then flip the product over and install your two screws on the two levers. You have to squeeze the levers tight and tighten the screws. A small 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench will work. If not, if your Allen wrench is slipping or anything, you can also use uh, pliers for this part of the procedure because the screws are ridged to allow for tightening with pliers. Tighten them down, and you have a waterproof seal. The uh, connector on the back end, if you're going to power from both ends, you need to install another power connector on the back end of the product. If you're using domed material, you have to remove a section of the domed material to make room for the connector. You cut down and across with a knife, and this makes it like the flat material, which you don't have to trim, obviously, to do this process. But once you have that trimmed back, the length you need it for the, for the connector, then the process is the same. 